If you're an educator wanting to create online learning materials and content for your students, I suggest you look at this Chrome extension, Screencastify. G'day, Paul from Democast Media, helping you supercharge your workflow with video. So I've been testing out Screencastify as another alternative for recording the screen, and I'll, I'll say I've been really impressed with it. It, is, it does lean towards helping educators to create content, but also people who want to record their video games online. And it was made specifically for Chromebook users because it fits right into the Google ecosystem. So I'm going to show you how to install this first of all, and then some of the, the free features that could be useful for you. So the first thing you want to do is to head over to screencastify.com for one click install, or go to the Chrome Web Store, find it there, add it to your account, and then it will start downloading and you'll see the icon on the top right hand corner. You'll have the option of saving your files to Google Drive or on your PC itself. I would recommend Google Drive, especially if you have a Chromebook to save you space, which is why this uh, extension was created in the first place. Start by hitting the film strip in the right hand corner and you can record the browser, the desktop or the webcam only. Make sure to choose the right microphone and you can record the system audio if you wish. Within the video settings, you also have the option of having drawing tools if you're a premium user. I'll talk about that later. Again, make sure that you've got the right webcam to go and give Screencastify a permission to record what's on your screen. So in this example, I just want to record what's on my desktop. So with my uh, settings in place, I hit record desktop. And once I hit the share button, you'll notice that the countdown begins and the red dot indicating that I'm recording. Once I'm done, I hit the film strip again and select end recording, which then starts saving my file onto Google Drive. There are a few things I can do here. I can save to the disk, share it, crop and trim, or delete and start over. If I go with this option, I can scrub along the timeline and delete the, the, the start and the end, but I cannot split or merge. And I also need to be a paid user to have access to this feature. So if you're wanting to do more than in trim and crop, you are gonna be limited unfortunately with this functionality as of the time of this recording. So the beauty of this is you can save it onto YouTube. So the way you can do that is uh, you can go to channel, please select, and you're just gonna make sure that you sign into the correct account and give it permission to link up to your channel. Alternatively, you can go to Google Drive instead and it gives you a link that you can copy and paste and there's three privacy options as you see. Alternatively, if you click there, it will give you access to Google Classroom. If you have an account, you can save your files there, uh, which again, why this is so good for educators who have students and you wanna share this uh, with your class. So you can export your finished video file either as an MP4 or as a GIF, which is really handy, but in both of those cases, you need to be signed up as a premium user which as you'll see in a moment, it is very affordable, accessible for most people. So one key advantage that I see for Screencastify is the ability to do on-screen annotations. This is only available if you're recording within the web browser on, on a tab. And this is great within the business context. If you're trying to highlight changes or communicate feedback to someone else, this is great, it stands out. If you're demonstrating something, within a web browser. Again, I think this is a great option. So let's talk about pricing. For as little as $2 a month, you have full access to all the premium features. This means unlimited uh, time recording, unlimited videos, and access to the trim feature, exporting this, among other things. Uh, this for $24 a month, uh, sorry, $24 a year US, is uh, represents great value whether you're an educator in a school an individual or working within a business now i would highly recommend you jump onto that because the free version does not allow you to export to anything you can only save onto google drive or youtube and you can only record for 10 minutes so my question for you have you used screencastify what do you think if you haven't 
jumped onto this and, and tested it out for yourself, head over to screencastify.com and do the one click install and try it out for yourself. I, I would highly recommend it. Again, if you're an educator, if you want to start communicating more clearly in your business or start recording the games that you want as with as little as $24 US a year. So again, thank you for watching. And if you want to be understood the first time, get screencasting. We'll see you next time.